Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this Santa Claus envelope wood sign. But first, don't forget the free SVG file that I have on my blog at ccdsmith.com and just search for Santa Claus envelope wood sign and you will find my blog post along with the free file so you can download for your own cutting machine software. So let's go to design space and I've already downloaded the file. So let's just go to upload, click on the image and just insert. So right here, I'm going to grab a shape as a reference and I'm going to unlock it to resize the square. You can unlock it up here or down here at the bottom left of the square. And I'm going to size it to 10 by 7.25 in inches because that is the size of the wood that I'm using. So let's go up here to change the color of the shape for a better view. Then I'm going to zoom out of the screen click on the image and see how it's behind the square just go to the top panel and click arrange then send the image to the front now let's move the image to the top left corner of the square and then resize the image by dragging the bottom right arrow and just pull and right here on the right side panel it shows you how many layers there are and I'm going to ungroup it because I want to resize some of the layers and also show you that you can do whatever you want with them. Now that I'm done, I'm going to the right side panel and hide the square by clicking on the eye. So I just noticed right here when I click on this layer, it is showing two colors and it is grouped together. I will need to ungroup it, then hide the green layer because I would like to select all of the red layers because I plan to cut it as a whole one layer. Then click attach and then unhide the green layer. Next, click make it. So right here, it shows you how many mats and the preview of the cut on how it's going to look onto your mat. My red vinyl will be on the first mat and my green vinyl will be on the second mat. So I'm just going to click continue. Then click on browse all materials and type vinyl. It will give you a list and just choose appropriately. And I'm choosing vinyl and then click done then right here there's a drop down for pressure either more or less or just stay in default the next step is get your mat and vinyl ready then you're going to load it to the machine and then hit start and it will just start cutting once it's done cutting unload the machine prepare and place the next mat for cut and then hit start again So here's some of the materials I am using for this project and I will link everything under the description box or head to my blog to know more. I'm just using a wood that I had from my old stash which this had been sanded already and the size of the wood I'm using is 10 by 7.25 in inches. So first I applied a gel stain onto the wood by using a makeup sponge which I like using better than an old cloth only because I realized it didn't use as much gel stain as I have used on my previous projects. Then I used paper towel to wipe off the excess stain. It doesn't take long to let the gel stain dry, but I left mine for about, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Next, I poured some chalk paint onto the silicone liner and I lightly dipped the foam brush into the paint. Then I just repeatedly swooshed it from left to right till I achieved the look that I wanted. Then you're just going to repeat as needed till you see the rustic look you prefer onto the wood. Thank you. 
Next is let the paint dry for about an hour or two. This is just depending on how thick you applied the paint. And you can also take a sanding sponge if you would like to sand down some of the paint to achieve a much more textured look. That is completely up to you. So now that the paint is dry, I'm just getting the vinyl ready to be placed onto the wood. And as you can see, I had already weeded my vinyl and I do apologize in advance because I don't know what happened to that part of the video. But I have the transfer tape in there so I am just folding the backing of the vinyl because I am getting ready to place the vinyl onto the wood. And right here just find the center, then take your scraping tool and just burnish. Next, gently remove the transfer tape. Then place the next vinyl. Burnish. And remove the transfer tape on that one as well and there you go all right you guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to grab that free svg file on my blog i will link everything under the description box in case you guys need it you guys have a great day and thank you for watching bye guys